Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, we will be able to know that how to check any driver's date and the reason why we need to check the driver's date just to ensure that we have a latest driver or a very old driver for graphics, for audio or for Wi-Fi. It's a very simple process. Please make sure you watch the whole video. And guys, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please hit the like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. So this will work on Windows 10 and Windows 11 both. So you can do that. Just do a right click in the start icon and go to device manager. Now, once the device manager is opened, you can go for your network adapters like with the Wi-Fi or display adapters where your graphics card is in audio input in sound video controller just to check what is the driver date so i'll pick so i'll pick the graphics card first i just need to do a right click and i need to go to this properties tab and here we have this driver tab where i need to click on that and there you go you will be able to know the driver date the driver version and you can also update your driver now if i click on update driver i just need to click on search automatically for drivers and if it says the best driver is already installed no worries you can close it and you can click on update driver again and click on browse my computer for drivers now the reason why i clicked on browse for drivers but because uh, mistakenly if you have installed a old driver and you already had the latest driver then you can select browse for drivers and select let me pick from the list and from here you can see which graphics you have and you will be able to install now there is one more thing you can download from any other computer or mobile phone and click on update my drivers and instead of clicking on search automatically select browse my computer and from here click on browse and from here you can go to downloads or any other folder where you have saved the latest driver for that particular graphics audio or sound you can select that and you just need to click on ok and in this manner you can install the latest driver on your windows i hope this very short tutorial is helpful for you if yes, please hit the like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day.